our economy on a daily basis. All right. Speaking of the economy, question, are the red states the answer not only to the Republicans' messaging problem, but to the national economy itself? There are eight states where most Americans are choosing to relocate. Get this. Florida, Texas, Arizona, North and South Carolina, Georgia, Nevada, and Tennessee. And, interestingly, they all have Republican governors. And that's because these governors are pushing a message of low tax, pro-business, and pro-energy, pro-fossil fuel production. It is, by the way, the complete opposite of losers like New York, Illinois, and California that are losing people. So let's welcome back Jimmy Williams, John McLaughlin, and Betsy McCoy. It was Betsy who broke this red state story today in the New York Post. In brief, this is really a Republican strategy, but it's a good economic growth strategy for the whole country. Isn't Absolutely, it and it shows that Americans are smarter than the politicians in Washington. They are voting with their feet, literally moving their families to states that have low taxes, business-friendly policies, and as you pointed out, fossil fuel production, which provides enormous job opportunities. Now, John, I just want to go to one of your polls before I let Jimmy uh, come in and, and rebut this. Because you, you polled for the Republican House members. Right. And one of your polls, and we talked a little bit about this last night with Rice Priebus, um, not sure it penetrated. Spending cuts alone, and certainly the austere message of deficits and debt, Right. is not going to do it for the GOP. Right. The kind of growth policies that Betsy is describing in the states will do it. Right. They're looking for economy and jobs. And that's that YG Network poll. It's up on their website, ygnetwork.org. You can go look at it. The whole poll's up there, including the cross tabs. So you can see there that that's across the board. Like Republicans, the numbers go up for debt, deficit reduction, but it stays strong. De Democrats, Republicans, independents, they want the jobs, they want the economy to grow, and, and on the top two answers, it's six out of ten voters. And what you're talking about, the state that Betsy's talking about, some of those states don't even have an income tax. Mm. And, you know, what are there, only eight states left without an income tax? So you have people from Massachusetts moving to New Hampshire. You have people from New York moving to Texas and Florida. And there, I'm getting a lot of congressional candidates because in the last census, the, the, the districts are splitting like amoeba. The sad part is in places like New York, we're losing two seats every ten years. Why doesn't the National Republican Party adopt the kind of bro-growth message? In other words, spending popular. Spending cuts are very popular. In fact, there was a poll out today that said people wanted a deeper sequester spending. Well, I think that's why the market's going right. up. Spending cuts, right. spending cuts are popular, but that's not the whole story. So she's talking about the energy revolution, uh, tax reform, pro-business regulatory policy. Larry, that's the growth Reeves should step down as head of the RNC. He failed to make 2012 uh, a referendum on Obamacare, even though it was highly unpopular. He failed to make it a referendum on the failed economic policies of Obama. But most importantly, he fails to well, see the future, the red states rising. He should be delivering this message every day. All right, red, I'm going to come to Jimmy. Red states rising. A lot of these are southern states, a lot of these are toss-up states, but you can't deny that people are moving there because it's pro-business and pro-growth. I will not deny, I think Betsy's exactly right, I think people are moving to those states, they're retiring in those states, the black flight from the 60s and 70s is going back to the south from the Midwest and from the New England states because they're retiring, full health care, full pensions. Their that is not there. why they're going to. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Look, <laughs> may I finish my statement? Yes. But here's a problem with your red state rising. It ought to be red states to purple states. All those people are moving to those states. Is it making blue states less blue? Yes, it probably is. But it's making southern states less red. Look what's happening in Virginia. Obama carried it twice. He carried North Carolina once. He almost carried it the second time. South Carolina, Mitt Romney won with 53%. That's pathetic in South Carolina. McCain, 52%. Mitt Romney won Georgia with 53%. The South is changing. You're right. Low growth, I mean, low taxes, I, less regulatory. I, you know, I agree you know, a thousand I would say, percent with that. I will Larry, say, there are 30 Republican governors. 30. And they're well, going to be less than that. No, no, no. no, no. Right. You're trying to tell me that these red states, with tax cuts and fossil fuel production and uh, pro business regulations, a lot of them are right to work states. You're telling me, or he's telling you, that the red states are turning blue. No. You buy no. that?
Right. Battleground. I'll tell you Wait. what they are. And in one regard, we're victims of our own success. Because in Virginia, it was a very red state, and then you had governors like George Allen, Jim Gilmore, brought in businesses, and they're not older people retiring. But these Mark Warner brought in businesses too. These are young people, barely. He followed up on their stuff. But let me tell you. Oh, okay. But we brought people out of Maryland into Virginia, and sure, they brought their voting habits with them. The same thing in North Carolina. I worked for the governor of Georgia, Governor Deal. He's, he's done a great job. He's passed a charter school re amendment. He's held the line on spending. All of those are great problems. things. And he's attracting people for jobs. Now, the bad part is we may not get our message across all the time like Betsy's saying. Okay. I don't think you fire the chairman. I think what you do is you run candidates who believe in those things and they win. Then you run, Wait a but second. But this listen. chairman disavowed Reagan economics, even though it's working and in the states. He never mentioned the Constitution, and he called for hiring quotas for committees in all the states, you RNC what? committees. What we need is a chairman of the Republican Party who sees the red states rising, who but, believes but in on. red states are rising, you and will capture the electoral Betsy, college. Are you, denying that, are you denying that the southern states, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, North, and, and, and Florida, Florida, are you telling me that those states are not actually turning purple? Are you I'm telling, telling me you that I see the people leaving New York, which is one of the uh, bluest states of all. You can talk about New York and, and Massachusetts and those, all day long. those people but, well, I think, are going to have the I'll tell you, 2016, they're going to get redder, and yeah, they're going to get stronger, and we're going to pick up more governors. Your party's the Titanic. We better bet a dinner on that one. Give me 2016, we're going to get more all the way around. Hang on. Up next.